Welcome to video 3 in the Create Music in Cubase Pro 8 series. In this video, we're going to use Loop Mash and some other creative plugins to help beef our track art. We'll then look at exporting it so we can collaborate and share with friends and also distribute it to the World Wide Web. First stop though, Loop Mash. There is no other instrument like Loop Mash anywhere in the world. Loop Mash does exactly what the title says. It takes loops and mashes them together. We can use the media bay to preview loops. When we find one we like, drag and drop it into an empty slot in Loop Mash. We can then save combinations in banks down the bottom for easy recall. We can build and save combinations on the fly. Already the dynamic of this track is changing for the better. We can change in between the banks by clicking on the bank number down the bottom. Now's where the fun begins. Grab an external controller and start moving the sliders to start mashing up these loops. There's one master loop and as you move the other sliders up, Loop Mash will start introducing more slices into the performance. You can change the master loop. Use the pads to move in between different banks. Loop Mash contains its own bank of performance effects. Performance effects can also be triggered externally. You can record an entire Loop Mash performance, then go back and edit your changes. You can also record an entire set to audio. I probably don't even need to mention the fact that Loop Mash is an incredible live performance tool. Cubase Pro 8 comes with a vast array of boutique sound design plugins. I've already mentioned there's thousands of presets. Presets are a great place to start when you're using a new plugin. You can see what an engineer would do to a particular sound. And then, use your ears to start shaping your own tone. Cubase Pro 8's performance with contemporary multi-core computer processors is phenomenal. But what if your computer is, well, on the slow side? You can take advantage of the render MIDI to audio function and instantly turn your MIDI files and VST instruments into an audio track. It's one of the fastest ways to export ideas. Before we share our track, we want to find a space for all of the instruments we have inside the project. A helpful way of doing that is to apply a channel strip. Scroll through the presets to find professional combinations of compressors, gates, EQs, DSs, envelope shapers, tape and tube saturation, and limiters. There's even mastering presets which you can apply over your stereo output. Now we're moving through very quickly, but as you've seen, creating an idea in Cubase happens very quickly. Sometimes when you've come up with an important idea, you want to be able to share it instantly. We can use the export function inside of Cubase to export our main stereo track, or batch export individual tracks to multiple channels. Cubase Pro 8 allows you to export in a number of different formats. We've created a musical idea and exported it using Cubase. In the next tutorial, we'll take this creative idea and we'll turn it into a full production track using the Arranger track and other sound design tools. 